Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is a serious situation. We are talking about a 28 year old man who is former military armed with an AR 15 hour rifle who has been shooting at least three to four rounds at his neighbors. So if you take a look behind me, I'll, I'll let you see uh, the house that we're talking about. It is the one with the RV parked in front of it. I can tell you there are sh several sheriff's deputies, uh, SWAT officers who are out here blanketing this neighborhood. Uh, here's what we learned about the suspect just moments ago. Suffering from some type of mental health crisis. He apparently, um, neighbors said that he was shooting his firearm um, at neighbors and surrounding area outside of his home. He, there is a family member that was struck by um, bullet fragments. So that person has been taken to a local hospital. And the sheriff's department just confirmed or clarified, I should say, moments ago that that victim was actually not a family member. It was a neighbor uh, who was standing outside near a vehicle, but that fortunately uh, that neighbor is going to be OK. We're also told that the suspect was shooting from a bedroom window. So right now they're not sure if he was aiming at anyone in particular or just randomly uh, firing. So right now the focus is on getting that suspect out of the home into custody. Uh, we can tell you they've made contact with him. They confirmed he is still inside the house. Uh, they are doing everything they can to try to make sure this ends peacefully. They have a lot of resources out here, including the psychiatric emergency response team, a crisis negotiations teams, uh, armored vehicles, deputies, officers blanketed throughout this area. About a dozen neighbors have been evacuated from their homes, and it's possible the sheriff's department may evacuate more people. Uh, we do know that the suspect's family is here at the scene. Uh, they are with sheriff's deputies as this all unfolds. A longtime neighbor uh, who knows this family says the suspect lives there with his parents. He also told me this. His mother told me this just a few minutes ago that his brother was killed in Las Vegas by a hit and run driver. And that, I think, is my opinion. I think that probably set him off. He's and another live look here at the scene uh, at this hour. The sheriff's department says they don't know right now what set off the suspect. Uh, this could go on for hours uh, today. We just don't know. Uh, there are a lot of schools in this area. So the sheriff's department says if this continues uh, well into the afternoon, it's possible they may put those uh, schools on lockdown as a precaution. So again, just to recap, a man uh, bar barricaded inside his Lemon Grove home with an AR-15 rifle. Uh, the sheriff's department continuing to negotiate with this person to try to try to make sure that this all ends peacefully. We'll send it back to you.